So this is part three of the SY85 restoration, but the normal parish notices. So if you want to subscribe to the channel, hit that subscribe icon. If you want to be notified when I publish new content to the channel, please hit that bell icon. And if you want to support the video production on the channel and the channel in general, please head over to Patreon. That's www.patreon.com forward slash the music tech guy UK. The address will be down here somewhere. So now we move on to part three of the SY77 restoration. So obviously recap, part one, we did assessment. So we assessed what needs to be done on the SY77. Part two, uh, we did uh, repairs to the power board. I have to think about what we did. Part three, we're gonna do the repairs to the disk drive. Now, I apologize if you watched part two and you thought the sound was rubbish. The sound was rubbish. And the reason why the sound was rubbish is because one of the cameras decided, or the camera that I had the primary sound plugged into, decided not to record anything. So hopefully this time around, we fix that. Okay. So I'm not going to bore you with getting into the keyboard because I showed you how to do that in part one. Uh, the keyboard is unscrewed, so we can just lift the back off. And now I've left the disk drive in an unconnected state down here. Um, and what I'm going to do here is I am going to very, very gently pull the ribbon cable out so I can actually take the disk drive out of the machine and just have a general look at it over on the workbench. So we're going to move over to the workbench. Okay, so, excuse my big belly, but we have the disk drive here with the offending item, which is what I think the issue is. This is a replacement belt that has arrived. So, pull up to the camera, you can see that. So the question is, is this going to fix the problem? So, let's put that there for the second. And now what we need to do is just take this belt off of here, and I'm going to use my long nose pliers for doing that. Very, very simple. And it is actually... Yeah, it does feel like it's had it. So now what I need to do is I need to feed the new belt on, which I will do with my hands around this bit. What is that catching on? I think what I'm going to do is just remove that guide so I can lift it up and get the belt on. Like so, it just releases. This belt tensioner, which allows me just to move this piece out of the way, like so, so I can get the new belt properly wound onto this spindle and then over. And all I'm doing now is just winding the belt round to see if I've got any kinks in it, which I don't think I do have. Now, what I'm going to do is put this tensioner back in place. Well, actually, what it does is it actually reads that. And is that back in the right position? It's a 
glasses off. So there is a little hot lug that, that locates onto just inside there. And now we can put the screw back in. Now there is nowhere near as much play in this new belt as there was in the old belt. You can see that from that. It's fairly taut and it's making good contact with difficult to get a camera angle on this actually. So let's see if I can get that. So I turn it around like so. You can see that that is making good conduct with this wheel and with this pulley at that end. So that is that done. The old one can go in the bin. As you can see, it is, um, so again, very difficult to show, but it's there's no elasticity left in this belt. It's absolutely shot. And as you can see, it's just fallen to pieces in my hand. So now we can put it back in the synthesizer. So now the disk drive is fixed, what we need to do is we need to put the disk drive back in the mount and I'm going to put it back in the mount before I actually reconnect the ribbon um, because it's going to be easier that way. So if you remember the mount has four screws. I stored the screws in my bits here box. So there you go. There's my four screws in my little caddy. And need the right screwdriver. Now we will reconnect the ribbon. That's what the deliberate mistake of put the disk drive in the wrong way around. Now you don't want to do the screws up anything more than just over a turn tight. Right, so that's now that round the wrong way, the right way to go in. Right, before I do that, I'm just going to check the ribbon position actually. So bear with me a sec. Sometimes these things are sent to try us. So I'll show you what I've done wrong. So first time round, I put this in the wrong way round. So try that to camera put it in the wrong way round so the actual opening was this end obviously that's not right now I come to put the ribbon in and you find the ribbon connector is down there so the ribbon has to go in before you put it into the caddy so I've got to take it out again I'll 
the ribbon goes in. Blue side, so this, this bar on the ribbon goes in, so this is exposed, it goes in that way around. You have to be quite firm with this to get it in. Without yeah, of course damaging it. Like so. Now we need to put the caddy on. And given the length of the ribbon, we have to do that like so. Okay, so that's the caddy reconnected. And now the caddy drops into this position here. And it locates around this lug here so that you can get to this put this screw hole here. And there's a screw hole at the back. And again, it locates around two lugs on the board that are probably not very visible on the video, but there are two lugs there and there, and the screw goes in the center. So again, off to the bitcher box. And in my bitcher box, I've got the screws for the caddy. And we'll pop the first, the front one in first. Just over finger tight. We'll pop the back one in second. That's where I wish I had my magnetic screwdriver. <laughs> I might need my magnetic screwdriver. Hang on, I've got one over here. This one's magnetic. No, that one's not magnetic. But that one is. You don't want to over tighten these because it's only a plastic shell that it's going into. And there we have the disk drive installed and in the right place. So now the truth comes. If we put the back on. So I won't bore bore you with the rescrewing of the back. Let's see if this is now this new belt has fixed the disk drive. Right, it's incredibly hot in here. I'm sweating buckets actually. Um, you wouldn't believe that, but when you think about all the lights you've got around uh, to make the thing light up properly, uh, and the fact that it's actually a fairly warm day. Um, it does make it very warm. So you will excuse the fact that I look a bit hot and sweaty. Um, so let's try this out. First thing, plug it in. Hasn't blown up yet. Switch it on. Still hasn't blown up. Right. Disc. Utility. Disc. Load. Still got a disc not ready. But the disc is now spinning. Right, let's try a different disc. There is something else going on here.
We need to find out what. Okay. So after a degree of Googling, um, I have confirmed that it seems to be a dead disk drive. Um, even though the disk drive is up and spinning, it's not recognising the disk is in it, so it looks like it's a new drive that is required here. Um, so I've ordered a new drive, um, which will take several days to arrive, of course. So at this point, part three will be continued later.